Okay, we move to uh, central light and decentral light, wastewater treatment system. So central light process concept are comprising of collection of and treatment of wastewater in one main location. So you can see there are many uh, 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 housing area and then we collect uh, the wastewater from each housing area housing area will be collected in one central place and uh, they, they become uh, this number become uh, it's uh, similar to PE okay so you can see this one is at 2700 PE uh, 3700 etc so all of this will be coming to one place combined together meaning this plant will should have the capacity of should have the capacity to remove the wastewater about uh, 12,200 uh, PE. So the collection and treatment system containing uh, collection sugar and centralized facility. Centralized system are used to collect and treat large volume of uh, wastewater. And the collection of collection system typically require large diameter deep pipe, major excavation and frequent main holes access. Uh, at the treatment facility, the wastewater is treated to standards required to for discharge to a surface water body. The large amount of uh, biosolids sludge generated in, in treatment are treated and either lens apply uh, place on the surface of disposal site or this is incinerated. So this concept have some decisive drawback uh, because this is centralized. So it is in addition to the cost of centralized central treatment plant main sewage line must be installed resulting in high initial investment and increased operation operating costs for maintenance of the network and associated pumping station possible interruption in the central plant uh, have a major impact on all community within the network specialized treatment it could require cannot easily be met Okay, so this one centralized system mean uh, we can use activities like process. We can also use trickling filter. We also can use the sequence batch reactor or or BS or or B SBR uh, sequence batch reactor. Uh, you know what it is. Sequence batch reactor is referred to okay. So this is actually this is happen only one in one tank, okay. So the water is flowing to this tank, all right, and then flow in. So now uh, they will inject the uh, oxygen inside. So this is like react, inject, and after that leave for a while. This is to leave it uh, for set the to leave it to settle, and after that. Uh, after the settle, so now this is draw. So meaning like they can, they can is like they they remove the they remove the the effluent. Okay, let the effluent from this process uh, flow out from this from this tank, same tank, and after that is they move to the next one, which is idle. Let them let it uh, stand still, and then put into uh, inject another batch of uh, wastewater so inject more wastewater and then after that react again settle draw back uh, idle and fill so this is like it happened in one tank but it's like a rotate process that's we call it sequence batch reactor okay so this is uh, OBS uh, OBR SBR wastewater treatment plant system uh, cars uh, easy to tank system this accessible so that one can be big or can be small like this this is for like small this is a uh, small okay so it will process in this tank this wastewater and when they have uh, after that uh, at the decan, so now the can will be they will pump the this one is in it pump the can is pump the good water into this in this tank okay to this tank and then that 
after that, let the which for the, the next batch come in, like this. So that's we call it uh, SBR. Major difference between SBR and conventional flow activate system is that the SBR tank carry out the function of uh, equalization, aeration, and so in in a time sequence rather than in the conventional space. Uh, sequence of continuous flow system. So, sequent, uh, sink back reactor is is a special form of activate the sludge treatment. All of the treatments process take place in the aeration tank, aerator tank, and clarifier are not required. Yeah, you see that? It's only one tank. The process three transport in batch mode, and each batch is sequenced through a series of treatment stages. Decentralized. So in a decentralized uh, system, individuals, uh, sewage line are uh, combined and treated locally. You see that? So it will be lo treated locally. Treated locally like this. In, uh, an on-site or cluster uh, wastewater system that is used to treat and dis dispose of relatively small volume of wastewater generally from dwelling and business that are located relatively close together so a conventional conventional system is composed of as accepted tank for pretreatment and drain field used for disposal and wastewater each system however must be designed according to the specific site condition to ensure proper treatment so advantage of a centralized system over a centralized system, the cost of a main sewer line network equal the investment is spent for entire group of decentralized compact treatment system, saving capital investment of centralized system plan. Uh, greater flexibility in uh, accommodating need of individual community. Local industry can be outfitted with their own separate uh, treatment facility. Uh, lowering the investment cost for the uh, municipal treatment plant and sewage line. Possible interruption only impact the local treatment facility. So, central line can be septic tank. We can use septic tank. It's the main purpose of the thing is uh, is uh, to temporarily retain and store wastewater to allow solid and fat oil grease. Uh, that we call it uh, fog. Okay, fat oil and grease separate before the wastewater flow into to the drain field. The tank is generally designed to provide two-day retention time uh, for wastewater settling to occur. Heavy uh, solid thing sink uh, to the bottom forming a layer of sludge while light solid and fog form form a floating scum layer. So something like this. See that? So this is uh, the uh, house so this is a big tank so on the top here is a uh, fork and this is a solid it's a solid platform okay and then after that we go to the drain field okay we also can use lagoon so this is lagoon is also this known as the pond system for on site wastewater treatment and are less often found in use for single family resident residential wastewater treatment. Residential lagoon system may use a conventional septic tank but effluent from the tank flow to a storage pond or lagoon for further treatment. So lagoon system require a comparatively large land area and are more likely to be found therefore in rural area or where common wastewater treatment system have been designed to serve multiple gravity. For example lagoon are used for effluent disposal on small farm and or and for animal waste treatment disposal or small and large farm for livestock operation. So this one, this is lagoon, big one. So advantage for lagoon is space uh, septic system can be very cost effective, particularly in rural area where the cost of land is low. They can handle the uh, intermittent and very large a certain load better than most other type of system uh, making them ideal for seasonal place such as uh, campground or resort they are normally fairly simple to operate and maintain 
they are very effective and treating waste water. Disadvantage lagoon septic system require more land than other system. They don't work at as well in cold climate. Order can be a problem, particularly at certain time of the year or if not properly maintained. Some wastewater require additional treatment to meet local regulation. Okay, we move to the uh, disinfection after we rest for a while.